Hit the record button. Alright. Hopefully it sounds okay. <laughs> Music sounds good to me. I think. Alright. I thought I'm probably gonna get some visitors, but I'll just start. Um, so I wanted to do a little tutorial on some stuff in Dungeon Defenders. Things that people that have just opened the game wouldn't normally know about. Or if they just played through the main campaign, what's next? What do they look for? How do they farm? Or, well, maybe not how they farm, but... <laughs> what do they look for when acquiring new pets and weapons and stuff? So first, if you want to like purchase something from the shop or something like that, just to test it out and you don't really want to commit the mana to it, you can actually export to open on the left side there. And it basically copies your play into the local or open. So you can just do whatever you want in there and it will not affect your rank at all. Look, this is totally separate from my rank now. I can essentially spend all my mana and I'll still have to rent. <laughs> so this is your play round. And this is why there is no real reason not to play ranked. It's because unless, well, the only real reason you wouldn't want to play ranked is if you have terrible internet and just can't. <laughs> it's the only real reason. Unless you just want to play offline and no one else, with no one else, and just experience the game as you go. Now I have a list of things here I gotta go through. <laughs> I have a horrible memory. So first thing I was gonna look at is like when you pick up your first pet or something, you don't know what it does. You can actually see the description of it here. It's See, this dragon shoots fireballs at your opponents, so it does damage. So if I go near here, it does damage to the dummy. So if I pick up this one, and if I go over here, now this one won't do damage to the dummy. So what does it do? It reads, heals your right or meaty defenses, <laughs> but drains your mana. Hello, e-boy. Welcome. So just, I'm just kind of making a video of basic things in the game. <laughs> so yeah, for an exchange of mana, that will heal your defenses. Now, I think there's a big difference in Redux and Normal. Like, in Normal, it just heals one defense, and I think in Redux it does an AoE heal, which is nicer. It does suck a lot of mana, though. The, like, you don't need to upgrade your defense heal amount by very much in order to get a good heal out of it. Genies grant mana to you when you damage things, like, they don't attack things either, but if you attack, they give you mana. This one... This actually attacks and then gives you mana, so it actually does all the work for you. <laughs> so it does damage, gives you mana. Pretty good. It doesn't give you very much mana, not as much as the genie does. But it can be helpful when you want to, like, AFK, get mana, and then maybe heal your defenses along with that with the pet there. This one passively upgrades things. I don't know if it'll do that in the tavern. I don't think so. Uh, there's some pets that are meant for just stats. Like this one actually doesn't do anything. If I go near here, it doesn't attack or anything. It's just to look pretty and give you a big stat. Uh, 
uh, some pets actually have a speed multiplier on it. You can look in the middle there. And this one also has a second ability that slows enemies if you when they hit, get hit, which is nice. Um, this one also does damage. So yeah, uh, look out for those pets with speed multipliers because they're very handy. And just make your run faster. Uh, I think that's it for pets. <laughs> No, um, another basic thing to look out for is that there's some generic weapons and then there's weapons that are rewarded for map rewards. Some of them can look the same, like these here. Like this, this lamppost is a generic. You can kind of tell, but it says it's ultimate plus plus and it has a weird name, poisonous street lamp. And then it just says usable by apprentice in the description there. That's pretty common to see those kind of descriptions and generic items. And then if you look at this one, this one actually has a normal name, or like an actual name to it, and then it has a weird description that says it has the power to make the sunrise. So it's kind of different than a generic, generic one. It doesn't say it's quality, it doesn't say it's transcendent. So it's kind of like there's exceptions to that rule, but kind of the basics. Some weapons are kind of unclear what they do. Like this one has a speed multiplier, obviously, but uh, and it does damage. <laughs> has a slow projectile speed, <laughs> but this one also siphons lives from enemies. It's in the description there. It tells you what it does. Kind of a neat ability. And this one is also obviously does damage. And this one has all mental, elemental weapon skilling, which means you kind of want it like a typically elemental damage upgrades to a higher number than normal range damage. Or melee damage even. It upgrades faster to a higher number. So maybe you want to upgrade the lightning damage instead for weapons that have the elemental damage scaling because that'll scale with your hero damage here when usually it wouldn't if that makes sense <laughs> uh what else oh yeah accessories uh so if i were to upgrade this staff here the forge here. <laughs> so if I were to upgrade this staff here, it would take, let's say I have 53 and a half billion right now. If I upgrade this staff all the way to 257, it took like 2 billion man, right? Not much, not much, not much at all. Now if I were to upgrade this accessory though, I have 51 billion right now, I suddenly have 33. Accessories cost a lot of mana to upgrade. You don't want to upgrade accessories right away. <laughs> you can leave that till you have, you, until you're like rich. Yeah. You don't need to upgrade them at all. Um, oh yeah. Uh, quality. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Messed up my stuff. Just drop. Yeah. Oh yeah, cats. I was gonna show on cats too. And cats, uh. They boost your hero boost, and to upgrade cats, you need to upgrade the clip. Clip ammo is actually the boost <laughs> that you're getting for your hero damage. So if I were to drop the cat here, I would do let's do staff instead. So at full charge, I do 164, 600, and now I'm doing 200,000 or 300,000. 
that's because the cat boosts my damage over double with this kind of boost on it. And usually you would find a cat with around 120 boost and 200 upgrades to get this amount or more. And you just upgraded every three upgrades. You typically want to the reload speed bonus is actually the range it affects some heroes. This is not clear at all, and while well, they should fix it, I don't know if they can. And then additional projectiles on the cap is actually the amount of heroes it affects. <laughs> some things are weird like that in the game. I don't know if they can fix it or not, but that's just how it was and how it's been for 10 years. <laughs> Now, the item quality outline stuff. That's also something I wanted to look at. So, everything here is all different qualities. Uh, different levels can use some of them, like Mythic is 74, Trans is 78, Supreme is 83, Ultimate, and Ultimate 93 is 90 and 93, and then Pluses and Divine and Void are all 100. And this is a cursed hat. It actually has its own outline in Redux. Cursed items do. And, the, and then everything else in between Mythical and Cursed don't. So, um, you wouldn't see the real... You, I think it's defaulted to Mythic for the outlines. If you set these, if you set the minimum outline quality to curse, you'll see the cursed outline. Let's see if I take it to supreme, for example. Suddenly, I don't get the outlines for trans or mythic items, as, as well as cursed. Just want to look at some settings. Uh, what else? Yeah, the reason I have... Oh, I forgot how to get this. I should have used a mouse and keyboard for this. Okay, sensor items. If you have that checked off, then you will see X's in the last number. It's just censoring the last number there, just so hackers can't fully duplicate your items. That's all that is. And so us streamers can be safe and not be frowned upon for showing off our cool items. <laughs> that was added into Redux. I thought that was pretty nice. I don't have to censor my stream every time I want to look at some items. Oh yeah, Monk. Monk has some crazy pet scaling on it. Um... So if I were to give him this dragon that's over here. Now he has like a 1400 attack here. If I hit the dummy at a level 587,000 damage, right? If I were to switch to a fully geared EV, for example, like with 4k stats on the tower damage, or the hero damage, it does a little bit less. Like Monk is pretty good for using damage pets. <laughs> Eevee likes the cat, generally. I don't know where I put my cat. It's probably on my huh, Chester here. Yeah. <laughs> Eevee likes using the cat. Because if I... Because uh, certain weapons scale with this beam thing here. I think there's two or three now. Is it just, just just two? Just two. So if I were to hit the dummy with just normal beam without cat and the dragon, let's say, I'd do almost four million tick. And if I were to have the cat on, cat like multiplies my damage by a few, so now I'm doing 7.6. <laughs> and that's a lot more than what that dragon can do with the Eevee. 
So cats on EVs, nice. And basically, if you're using your weapons and stuff instead of your pets to do damage, you can use your cat too. Anyone that's not monk generally uses cat. Or a fairy if they want to survive. Um, what else do I got here? Oh yeah, oh, should I do more? No, hold on. Let's switch to summer. There's some hockeys I missed in my other video, my hockey video, that I should probably mention too. So this is kind of like a cool trick. So if you go into overlord mode and you have like, let's say you have like all your minions hockey here, you can actually summon like one of each kind at, it at the same time without waiting for the other one to finish. So that's a nifty thing you can use to speed up the process. As long as you have the mana for it, you can keep casting. Like you can cast, I think you can cast all six of these at once if you want to. Seven of them? Seven. Not two. Oh yeah. So, it's a little bit weird with the controller, but if you have your map open, and then if you have your map open in somewhere overlord mode, you can actually just... Teleport to that. Oh, there we go. Teleport to the location on the map. <laughs> so that's nice. I don't know if I mentioned this in the other video. If you type kill me in chat, it actually kills your character. Just in case you get stuck anywhere or whatever. Or if you want to reset cooldowns. It's kind of useful. Uh, also for item or quality borders, you can press control O, get rid of them. And if you want to trade someone, if you press control T, it adds a full page. Like my full page would be these eight items into the trade. You can also, if you control, you hold control and then drag one of these items into your folder, for example, it actually moves all eight items into your folder using control. I can't do that with the controller. <laughs> And auto firing. Oh, did I forget to mention this on the split screen here? So, well, get out of here. Okay, so if you want to auto fire, if you're like on your F3 Kiro and you hold, right click on the mouse and press F2, suddenly I can use my player one again. The other one's still firing. So that's how you auto fire with the emulator. It can only work with one character. I don't know if we're gonna make it more yet in the next update or not, but I use a controller for my second character. Or the rubber band. Right? <laughs> um I think that's about covers it. If you wanna, oh well, maybe I can. Uh, tower boost with a monk makes towers significantly stronger. 
It's doing 18,000 a tick right now, and suddenly it's doing 59,000 a tick. So it, it does boost it quite a lot. If you were to add an initiate to this, initiate and redux kind of acts like a, a guardian boost. So if I were to... I think my boost is a lot higher than my monk right now. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's a, another boost to damage and rate and range there. Hero boost can multiply that again. So that's a, a massive upgrade to the initiate. Just having another boost there. I think that about covers everything that I want to cover. And and tower boost really accelerates you. Can accelerate through the game. Like with low one K stats, you can probably pull off moon base nightmare and stuff like that with hero boost, tower boost. So that about covers my tutorial on dungeon defenders and what to look for and more hockeys and stuff.